Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, and thank you very much for joining us. If you are new, guys, please consider subscribing to our channel. And whilst you're down there, don't forget to click like and subscribe, as well as smash that notification bell. If you are a returning viewer, guys, I appreciate your help. Thank you very much for coming back week on week. You are the people who are making this channel stay strong. Anyway, so today we are going to bring you a review of Decentralized Social, DESO. D -E -S -O. Now, what I'm going to share with you in this video with regards to Decentralized Social is not financial advice. If you require financial advice i think guys by now you know what to do please do your own research as well as approaching those who are actually qualified to give you financial advice the information contained in this video is just for educational as well as entertainment purposes so web 2 will be known for bringing the internet to the masses especially the advent of social media and online shopping but that groundbreaking development came with some serious risks that regulators are Across the globe were caught napping. We have all heard about the Cambridge Analytica and Facebook now matter and the mass harvesting of private individuals' personal data without their express permission. Governments harnessed recent internet developments by becoming more tyrannical through the introduction of dystopian social policies. You name it, they've all done it. Some are done in the name of democracy and protecting individuals, but the end result is the same. The lines are now blurred between communism and democratic countries. Now, we are not into politics, just an observation from a distance. The question that came out of Web2 presenting one of the major challenges to society and the use of the internet was that of individual sovereignty. How can that be achieved? Can the ownership of personal data remain with the original data owner, thereby giving them back control of who retains rights to personal information? Enter Decentralized Social or DISO, a layer 1 blockchain built from the ground up to decentralized social media for billions of users. Decentralized social's ethos center around content creators and content users while remaining open to millions of developers around the globe, thereby fostering a symbiotic relationship that is fair and transparent. A new economy that benefits all stakeholders then emerges with new crypto-native monetization tools like social tokens, social DAOs or decentralized autonomous organizations, social NFTs, social tipping, and many more applications. Now, here are some of the value propositions being presented by decentralized social. Creators have access to monetize their passion and make a living by doing what they love the most. Developers can also build in gasless, permissionless, and transparency, transparent environment where everything is open and on-chain for ultimate accessibility and composability. Decentralized social is built to support storage-heavy or infinite state applications, opening up a new world of non-financial-based Web3 applications that weren't possible before. Decentralized social's development model ushers in a new next-generation experience for global social networking aptly coined Web3. Value accrues to the builders, creators, and users alike with no middleman. It also unlocks vast new categories of money-enabling products from social NFT experiences to influencer stock markets. Creators to more effectively monetize their content and connect with their followers on diesel-powered applications. That is a huge ask and realistically, can that be achieved? Keep watching. Let's look at some of the key features that make decentralized social stand out. Key features include the fact that it supports not only traditional social features like creating profiles, and posts, but also novel blockchain native features like social tokens or creator coins, tipping, and NFTs. Decentralized social treats social data as a public utility, which means creators aren't logged into a handful of centralized applications. Content on DISO is stored on a decentralized ledger and is immediately available to a large and growing network of independent third party applications. DISO also supports a narrow set of social oriented features that implement on bare metal using custom indexes that every node builds during consensus when syncs from its peer. There is also enhanced privacy with decentralized social. Spamming is also reduced on DISO network through the use of a reputation system. Now, as part of our review, we are going to apply our DYO, our risk evaluation toolkit that is made up of 13 elements. And those 13 elements are as follows. you got decentralization, security, scaling, interoperability, project team, edge of the project, use cases, social media presence via Twitter as well as via Discord. Before we jump in, to the tokenomics. So starting with decentralization, DISO or decentralized social stores all its data on a public blockchain, which means that anyone in the world can run a node that exposes their own curated feed. As a fully open source blockchain, anyone can build on top of DISO. Because DISO is money native and open source, anyone in the world can start to experiment with new ways for creators to monetize by building an application on top of decentralized social. On top of that, storing all the data on a public blockchain makes it so that with one engineer 
one can also build a social media experience that is competitive with the existing incumbent. It cannot be overstated the extent to which this lowers the barrier to entry for creating new social media products. Now, let's move on to security. Content is stored on the DSO blockchain, so users can own their content the same way they own assets such as Bitcoin, where you protect it with your life. Content is also secured by the owner's public and private keys, while the use of end-to-end -end encryption adds another layer of prevent unauthorized access. Features such as DSO identity provides a self-custodial decentralized wallet that is on security. As far as scaling is concerned, the use of custom indexes that every node builds during consensus when it syncs from its peers means that decentralized social can reach highly scalable storage capabilities that are unparalleled by any general purpose blockchain. By switching from proof of work to proof of stake, DSO can reach a throughput of hundreds of thousands of transactions per second owing to the strictly defined transaction schema. The cost of storing a 200 character text is a tiny fraction of a cent compared to storage on other blockchains. You're looking at your Cardano, your Solana, your Ethereum, and so forth. As far as interoperability is concerned, with decentralized social users can create a single profile and take that identity, content, and social graph with them across any application. So you're talking of decentralized LinkedIn, to decentralized TikTok, to decentralized Twitter, to decentralized poker, and so forth. The list is endless. You can move with the same identity. How about that for interoperability? As far as the project team is concerned, according to the team's own website, there are approximately 17 team members. Social media present via Twitter, decentralized social has got just over 57,300 Twitter followers. And via Discord, decentralized social has got just over 4,900 Discord members. Use cases for DSO or decentralized social, ticker symbol DSO, D-E-S-O. The DSO token can be exchanged between users on the network to transfer value between individuals. Users can also earn tokens by posting content, commenting or liking posts and tagging other users. Content creators can also easily be tipped diamonds which are directly deposited into the user's wallet. The DSO token is a utility token used to pay for all activities on the network from voting to liking posts, tagging other users and so forth. Some of the products or services on offer include Diamond which is decentralized Twitter, Open Fund, decentralized fundraising, DSOFI which is decentralized social networks, DSO Chat, decentralized Telegram, Entra, decentralized LinkedIn, Zekels, decentralized Medium, decentralized Instagram, Story, decentralized TikTok, NFTs, decentralized OpenSea. The DSO blockchain supports social tokens, tipping, and NFTs known as creator coin. DSO is also utilized to create user and post association. As an inherently social platform, DSO can also be used to support NFTs. Because DSO is money native, it can tie tipping with content in ways that no other social network can. That's a bundle and then some of use cases for decentralized social. Now on to techonomics. Ticker symbol DSO, D-E-S-O. Token supply, 10,808,492. Circulating supply, 82.2%. Token allocation, founders, 18.5%. There is no other readily available information on how the rest of the DSO tokens were distributed apart from raised capital of around 200 million from a number of venture capitalists, but there is no breakdown of how much that was in return for. So token distribution and token allocation for decentralized social is very much opaque. There's no clarity. I don't know why information has been hidden. Is there something that they don't want people to find out? I have no idea. Anyway, now as part of our DIY or our risk evaluation, like I said, we are going to apply our 13 elements that we've already reviewed and the application of those elements, including us ranking from zero to 10. Then we aggregate those scores and it is the aggregate total that we classify under the following risk categories. You got the go for it category where the risk is at a minimum. The risk then increases slightly under potential category before it increases further to could go to zero and the risk maximizes at no go category. Here are the scores we've allocated to DSO or decentralized social. On decentralization, we allocated five points out of 10. On security, seven and a half points out of 10. Scaling, seven and a half points out of 10. Interoperability, seven and a half points out of 10. Project team, seven and a half points out of 10. Social media presence via Twitter, seven and a half points out of 10. Age of the project, two and a half points out of 10. Social media presence via Discord, two and a half points out of 10. Project use cases, 10 points out of 10. Why? Because decentralized social, I think, is got use cases by the bucket lot. Tokens issued at project launch, 2.5%. Total tokens in circulation at the point of recording, 7.5 points out of 10. Maximum tokens available, 10 points out of 10, because it fell within the highest category of 0 up to 21 million. Inside the token allocation, like I said, the allocation is opaque. It's not clear. It's hidden for one reason or another. Therefore, we are going to issue 0 points out of 10. And from other quarters, I've come across information stating that very few wallets hold a majority 
majority of the diesel token which means it's very much centralized and it's in the hands of very few if you guys have any different information to what i'm presenting please share that information with us down in the comment section and we are happy to oblige and make corrections where possible anyway so those are the schools we've allocated to centralized social across the 13 elements as part of our DIY or our risk evaluation toolkit do you agree with those scores and do you hold diesel decentralized social let us know in the comment section the aggregate score for decentralized social comes up to 77.5 points out of 130 which puts decentralized social within the could go to zero category that's not a surprise because majority of the project some very decent project do fall within the could go to zero category do you guys agree that's the accurate category for decentralized social let us know in the comment section and if you hold decentralized social are you happy with the way the token allocation occurred if you have that information please please share with us in the comment section or point us in the right direction as far as i'm concerned currently i do not hold decentralized social as a project within my private portfolio nor do i hold it within the two public portfolios we share with our community will i ever hold decentralized social in my private portfolio or public portfolio you never know we'll keep paying attention to this project and see where things go one day if we finish our task elsewhere we may just turn around and start considering decentralized social as an investment option as of now this is fd for safer build tv signing out for now bye